Last but not least, we got the Eden. It's our last drifter weapon. Polearm. Let's take a look on how it compares uh, stats-wise with some other weapons. We could take a look on the Gwendel Prime, the Orthos Prime. Let's put on Polearms. Gwendel Prime. It has an even higher critical multiplier and critical chance than the Gwendel Prime. How crazy is that? It's only really going to lose on the damage side, which is which the Guandao has a bit more. That's going to be 20 plus uh, on the total, being the vast majority slash. The slash weighting on the, on the Edun is lower than uh, the Guandao Prime, so the Guandao has, has an advantage on, let's say, getting some slash procs. As for the Orthos Prime, yeah, I've already talked about the Orthos Prime versus the Guandao Prime. It's like one is towards the status, the other one is towards the crit. Comparing the Orthos Prime with the Eden, uh, it's kind of like comparing the Eden, the Orthos Prime with the Guandao. They're they go in opposite ways, but both of them have more damage than the Eden. It's being base damage. And I don't even know if we can compare it to some other pole arms. A bunch of our pole arms are out pretty outdated. The Vaker Sidon is actually pretty interesting with the distribution and the not the distribution but the the the, the other stats. Yeah. Pole arms in general aren't bad. Uh, we even have uh, this beauty, old beauty, which was meta in the game for some time. Extremely meta. So, back to the Edom. This Induviri, I don't even remember what it did. With, with it, what it did, to be honest. Uh, it was the first one that I bought. And I was super disappointed <laughs> because the moveset in the very feels slow, clunky, not very fluid. I don't know. I'm, I'm just not a big fan of it on the very. I think it's a... For the way I was playing with the sun and moon, it felt super slow. But yeah, here you can have the shimmering blight and stuff, so it's pretty chill. As for the uniqueness of the weapon, you can throw it like a javelin so yeah it will attach to a surface it will attach to an enemy if it doesn't de detonate in a second it's gonna take around the 20 seconds to detonate that's what I could notice of and let's go this is the build I use for leveling it is nothing too crazy um, We'll make something better a bit later. And... Yeah. I think it's... Uh, with this build, you're not gonna see much. I mean, the status is not there. The critical damage is there. The critical... If we armor strip, then you see damage. Because you know, without corrosive procs or anything like that, you're not gonna see a lot of damage. But I gotta say that the heavy attack deals quite a good amount of damage, to be honest, with against armor stripped enemies. This could definitely the level cap uh, if proper to build proper and uh, take into the 12 times multiplier. Uh, I think it would most definitely be able to get there. We get no heavy attack with uh, just pressing and repeating. It's just gonna keep throwing javelins. Or throwing itself. Uh, but if you slide, then you can get the secondary heavy attack, or the second heavy attack, which in fact is the one that uh, is able to headshot. So, still a win. Still a win because you have something special with your main heavy attack and with your slide attack. There is something that uh, can do quite some damage if you guys remember the... I think it was the Orthos Prime video where I like hit it 10 million on a headshot with the second attack. Yeah, that's pretty wild. 
I made a build to build combo and use the javelin in an attempt to get slash procs. The stat distro and the javelin is, I think, more towards the uh, towards the puncture, if I'm not wrong. S slash is not the highest, but you can get there. Let me summon some more enemies. Group them up. If I'm not wrong, I have condition overload on this one, so let's just use this javelin and see how long it's gonna take to get a a slash rock. I had Carnage Mandible before. Yeah, seems pretty uh, deadly. Yeah, you need to, to get the slash proc. If you don't, yeah, that's the problem. Maybe a Riven could do wonders for this weapon. That was a 247k slash tick. And considering that we had nothing, absolutely nothing proc on the target, that could probably be a crazy amount of damage if we get a, a decent primer on. Try to get on this one. The only problem is it. Oh, Jesus. I think that was. Yeah, that was a uh, one shot. Let's get some more enemies. Let's see if I can land that, uh, that headshot. Okay. Fine. Problem is that. Oh, they're moving. Ah, one thing that we can do is to use... We can use Zada's Whisper to redirect it, but... Yeah. That can pretty much... Uh... Oh, gee. Jesus Christ. Yeah. There we... We killed two. Uh, it is still here. It's gonna blow up soon. I don't know. I think it's interesting. But... Yeah, at some point we have to think on a... Uh... How useful it is to have uh, a weapon. I think it's more towards the fun side because, yeah, we can't really say it's useful. It's unique. Unique AF. If you're gonna use a full arm, this is definitely one of the most interesting ones. Because it's not every full arm that does something extra. I mean, the Legion opens up and uh, gives socks and damage, increases attack speed and stuff. And, uh,. This is just not basic, you know. That's what I mean. Let's try to hit it. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, I don't think we're gonna have an enemy that can tank this. If we if we get the slash proc. Yeah. Maybe uh no. Never mind. I was thinking I'm over Runa, but uh Oh my god. Six hundred K. Yeah, usually with the eight hundred K slash tick, uh you you you're usually pretty good to do level caps with so with a heavy attack, so yeah. Can pretty much say that this would be this would deal with level cap. Let's make another build. What could ha really help here is uh, this Boreal's Contempt. This could be really, really useful, but there is no place to put it. Uh, we want the crit chance from Blood Rush. We want the Weeping Wounds to get the status chance. We need this for the stat waiting. Uh, we could only, the only thing I could see being removed is Relentless Combination, but this would make stacking, getting the combo counter up a bit more problematic. So, yeah. Let's make another build with Shimmering Blight. Let's put our this. Uh, what else? 
condition overload. Like to go like this and just put them there. We are going to make a build to kill Grenier. We are going to be dealing viral damage. It's pretty much like the first build. Yeah, kind of. I want to reflex coil. I would like to have relentless combination to build up the combo. But what am I going to miss? The smite mod. No, the smite is already there. Fury. Yeah, the thing is to drop Fury to put... Yeah, things going to be to drop Fury to keep up with the... Let me see if I'm not missing anything. Oh. Okay, this got complicated. I don't need... Uh, weeping Wounds. I don't, we don't care about uh, Slash. But we do care about our critical, that's why we need... Uh, how is it called? Blood Rush. Blood Rush. So this should be enough. Yeah. Could still remove Relentless Combination, put something else. But I gotta tell you guys that I'm just so used to having Relentless Combination, building my combo up. Combo counter pretty fast. I just wanna have it. And I forgot that I had Arcane Strike, uh, so that is helping with the attack speed. It was probably too fast before and I didn't even notice. We have Condition Overload. Shouldn't deal a lot of damage. 91k, it's not bad, considering it was not prime. I would say that even a, a prime target with armor is not gonna survive, 100%. The only problem is to get the head. Should get something else to prime, of course. Should have the Tysus. And oh my god, this one with Zara. Damn, would just obliterate anything, I think. Ooh, a million with armor. A million damage with armor. Oh my god! Oh, I can't wait to armor strip someone. Let's go. Uh, who's gonna be the victim? Okay, let's get it right. Ooh! 13 million! Juicy! Yeah. The power of a javelin. And good mods. Uh, wow. Okay. I have to take off Relentless Combination. Yeah. I absolutely have to. Because there is no slash. Yeah, that's crazy. I really just delete stuff from my mind sometimes. Uh, no use for Boreal Contempt, because status effect, we're not going to be using status effect. So, Gladiator Might is an option. Ooh, not Gal. Glad. Gladiator Might. Could even use Gladiator Vice. No, not Gladiator Vice. Could use Quickening to build up combo faster. But this critical multiplier is just juicy. So, why not use it? Okay. Let's see if I can get a victim now. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And oh my god, that was 35 million, wasn't it? It was either 35 or 32. It is, Jesus Christ. I think Shimmering Blight is pretty mobile. 
So it feels good to use it. Do it out, Primey. 7 million. Yeah. A primate target, primate and armor trip who wouldn't survive this. Uh, level cap, I mean. I always do stuff when I mean for level caps. I'm, I'm just thinking of disruptions. It's really. Yeah. Bam. There is one thing that I think it could work. Ah, uh, this, but let's make a few changes. Let's make gas. I think gas will work. Violent Scourge, Volcanic Edge. Let's put pressure points because I don't, I don't, just for testing. I have a I'm a feeling that this might work, but it also might not. Okay. I'm all interested about the the javelin throws, not the anything else. Let's see. Oh Jesus! Okay, on the explosion, we're getting the gas. So let's group up everyone. I wonder if I would try to should try to go for a headshot. How much damage are they gonna take? They're already taking a considerable amount of damage. Yeah. So new strategy. We're gonna kill everyone, summon them back, uh, get them together, uh, keep the power up, of course. Armor strip. I'm gonna hit the ground. Mm-hmm. So it can work, but it was a bit strange. It was effective, but strange. Maybe, ah, I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. I knew that Gladiator Mind was feeling a bit off, a bit off, not off. Weeping wounds, we're missing weeping wounds, that's the thing. You should be getting a slash proc on everyone, that's the thing. Not a slash, err. You guys get it. A gas proc on everyone. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this to go away. Just to keep up the combo. I think this is gonna be a... Yeah. <laughs> That's what I expected. That's what I was looking for. Uh, I kind of knew that. I kind of saw that coming. <laughs> well, for gas builds, I think this is better than the Cyan. Just gonna kill all of them to really get a... I wanna get this as clean as possible. Okay, this should do. Bam. Bam. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Pretty interesting. We could try to make something else. Since the gas works. We could even do electricity. Electricity and use... Shocking touch. And then now we can. I could either put some more status, or I can put Gladiator Might back in, get more crit damage. Let's do it. Let's see how it's gonna, how it will go. Okay. Uh, electricity is already pretty deadly on its own. So, <laughs> fire ship now, everyone would just die. So we summon them again. Let's make a test. Let's make a test.
Huh? Okay. By what it seems, oh, damn it. Not everyone got the electricity proc. Still. Let's do it again. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with, that I did with the gas. Let's throw it at the ground. Let's see. What will we get? We're good. Bam. Oh no. I wonder if when it detonates, it's gonna... Where is it? Is it even here? Mm. So... It went to oblivion. Yes, to do it again. The things that happen when you're testing. Okay. There we go again. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, not everyone is... Okay. Okay. Uh, it was so deadly that no one survived. Uh, I think if I can get a headshot... With a proc... We might kill even armored enemies. Not gonna lie. took so much damage. Let's go again. Bam. Bam. Just to keep this up. Shoot the one in the very middle. He did. Almost. Damn. That has to be a lot of damage. Another thing you can try is to use the Eden with Ivara. It is gonna work. The only thing is that you will have to hit your enemy before your combo counter goes down. Otherwise, you're gonna lose your combo counter. Let me get this just to show. So, I'm gonna try to get the combo. Okay, then they're just gonna... Get deleted. The only thing is that I have no grouping ability with Ivara. And so we probably won't get anything too fancy. Probably be able to get like one enemy hurt pretty bad. That's uh that's what I think. Activate. Bro. I got a few seconds. Oh, he killed. Oh my god. Yeah. He killed until the... The combo counter went uh, down. And that's why it stopped there. Can probably do some interesting stuff with it, but that's really what I had for you for today. Let me know what you think about the Eden in the comments below. Leave it a like. Consider subscribing. Peace.